Okay, so... What are you doing? Oh, that's right. Why aren't you flying? You look confused. Oh, that's right, he's picking up a lockbox, wasn't he? Oh, wait a minute. Flame up. What's going on here? Oh, we're a little stuck. <laughs> Got stuck on an asteroid. How long have you been stuck here? Seriously, how long have you been stuck here? Oh, somebody killed it. That uh, little freighter was stuck in there. The YT-1300. YT now go move on. I was kind of hoping you were going to be where you needed to be when I came back from break. Make me look bad. Asteroids everywhere. Oh, just broke up. Oh, that's right, because there's so many asteroids in the system, it's going to have trouble navigating. Because the, the AI is a kind of chicken shit when it comes to asteroids. High tech factory. Okay, not so bad. You only have 6.5 million credits. Auto saving. Anyway. We're trying to find a representative for the Bounty Hunters Guild so we can hopefully get some jobs with them. Be, Jump you know, completed. Become a galaxy-famous bounty hunter, hopefully. That's our goal. I have no idea if that how that works. So I've never actually worked for the Bounty Hunter Guild before, so I'm kind of curious to see how it actually works. And it looks like uh, they might have a station down here in Coruscant. So. Famous. I thought we were in it for the money. Yeah, either or. Usually when you become famous, you get money. That's the plan, at least. Building at... 2.9 million still to get this thing built. Ugh. How much money do I have? Enough. I have enough to cover that, so I'll let that go. Yeah, we're building this over here to make uh, get a qualified defensive platform for the Empire to make them like us better. We still need another factory in their space, though. Oh, it does. No, this qualifies as a factory, doesn't it? I think it does. Called a factory. I think that's qualification. We know. Empire. You're currently allowed to dock. That's what the inspection may decide to send patrol ships to areas in which you have assets, right? Good deal. Can't see the orders just belong to this faction. You're not allowed to teleport or whatever. You're not allowed to use the paint modification theme for, of this faction. So we're not considered an ally yet. How do I know my citizenship status is the real question. That's what I really want to know. I guess... Get that information. That empire. 
Oh, look, our net worth is only 240 million credits. Fashions. I'm not sure what this means yet. Actions and relate. Oh, here we go. Maybe this will tell us. There we go. Okay, so social sanity. We're good. Oh, there we go. Integration status is militia. So qualify there, I guess. So now it's just a matter of getting our reputation up higher to buy the military stuff. Ah, we're qualified to buy all the stuff we need to buy there. So, we can buy anything we want as far as fighters go. Medium sized stuff are good too. Oh, that's right, we've got, we have, yeah, that's. Okay, so this is small stuff. This isn't quite. Shipyards are better indication because these are the big boys that really matter. Ah, we're good here. Let's go buy all the large ships for the Empire. So we just we just don't have access to the Super Star Destroyer yet. I think they have to do something special for this. I have no idea what, but I don't think we have the three hundred thirty one million to buy it anyway. Someday, just not today. As far as the Star Destroyers go. 76 million for an Imperial One Star Destroyer. Not including TIE Fighters. Those are going to be another yeah. 60 million each, roughly, depending on what kind of TIE Fighters we get. Because it's got the capacity for 60 small fighters, one medium ship. So we got that. Imperial Two. Reset there. 88 million for this. The octuples. Everyone loves the octuples. Put ion cannons on this thing if we want. Medium sized ion cannons. Oh, it's got a tractor beam. Heavy tractor beam. Jump completed. Coruscant. Point defense stuff for shooting down fighters. It's fine. Okay, so again, wish list. 85 million to get an Imperial 2 Star Destroyer. Once you get one of those, you almost rule the galaxy as it is. They're pretty killer. Those octuples, the crazy damage on those things. There's only eight of them. Which means you can't zoom in a little bit, a bit more. But they basically have, was it, eight barrels? Heck, hence the octuple portion. It's basically like 64 turbo lasers on this thing. Big ones. Like I said, that, that, those don't lose a whole lot of fights. The Imperial ones don't have octuples. They're good, but they're not Imperial too good. Are there yet? We're still not there yet. One more gate to fly through. CK Miner Solid. A miner.
Jump completed. Empress Theta. Uh, chance of this being another gate. Pretty good, I'm guessing. Exploring, exploring, exploring. Yeah, I'm looking for a bounty hunter guild representative. We found one of their stations. Ask, where's your representative? And they go, over there. <laughs> way, way over there. Again, we started... This is where the Bounty Hunter Station is, right there. No, sorry, that's the Mining Guild. The Bounty Hunter Station is there. So we started over here, thinking, oh, they should have a representative. They don't. Now they're sending this way down there. And more than likely, this is not going to be the end of the line, I'm guessing. Uh-oh, Mrs. Gimpy needs to talk to me again. Be right back. Waiting orders. Okay, I'm back. So look, it's another gate. We'll get there eventually. I really wasn't expecting this to be this long of a trip. Jump completed for Akif. Of course, I could just take over and then it'll go a little bit quicker. Maybe. Raider Corvette. Autopilot engaged. There we go. Maybe. This should take us to where we need to go. A little bit more quick, more quickly. Look at the ring planet. Corellian Star Shuttle, solar power plant. Okay, so. Five million. How's our little defense platform going? I 
So it's just building all the different pieces that need to be built. So it's got the Jump budget. Completed. It's this. got the budget to get this built, so we're good there. Don't want that anymore. It's fine. It's building all the stuff it's doing. That's when we have to build over. Ball of Fire is going to want his money back if you keep this up. Autopilot disengaged. Really? Are we there? Oh, we're actually here. Shocking. Guild station. Docking granted. Okay, see if I can remember how to fly. I don't have to turn around, it'll happen automatically because I have a docking computer. Successfully docked. Okay, let's go see if we can talk Raider to the person we need to talk to. See if we can get a job or something with the Bounty Hunter Guild. So we want to be a bounty hunter to make some extra sure. money, hopefully. Without screwing up the, you know, our friends. Or maybe not friends, but not not out, not our enemies. There we go. Yeah, didn't fall through the floor. Okay. Hanger. Little ship. Hello. Uh, show me your licenses. Equipment access owned. Panther's gun, unique equipment access, one million. Unique ship access, three million. So four million for this stuff? I don't really care about this, though. The ship's not so much. Eh, maybe later, but... 
Look down here and just give assessment my actions. Here's our assessment. Goodbye. It could be better. So how do we get to be better friends? Modules. Oh, no modules to buy? You can buy this stuff, maybe. Fire spray, that's uh, uh, the Boba Fett ship. Uh, was it, uh, what was the name of the ship? Slave One. Ooh, the military version of the YT-1300. That's the Millennium Falcon version. Small ships and out Razor Crests. But these are blueprints. Slave One. Yep, I got it. I remember. I said Slave One, right? Goodbye. So I thought there were bounties to do. Goodbye. Live stream of the station. Don't care. I thought we were able to do other stuff. I guess this is just for buying the licenses to buy stuff from them. Smalls. There's the Razor Crest. This is the ship from the Mandalorian TV series. No weapons on it. We have to pay for that. Was it three million? It's not a bad ship. I think the fire spray is probably better though. Yeah, there's slave one basically. Why this is a medium sized ship and the Razor Crest is a small, I don't know. I don't understand why this is classified as a medium ship. Because the reality is it's smaller than it, it's really not that big. <laughs> I don't see how this and the Razor Crests are in different size categories, but that's whatever. This thing. Hello there. Stinger. I don't know why you'd get one of these. Light freighter. So they don't actually sell the YT-1300, the military version. You can buy the blueprint for it, but you can't actually buy the ship here. That's funny. There's the hawk. Well... I'm never going to buy any of those ships, so I don't need to buy the licenses. Are there missions to do? Yes. You know the way this is mining stuff, or clearing mines. This is patrol bis for the New Republic. We're not going to do that. Destroy mines for the New Republic. So there's nothing here. Side by side, it is smaller. Well, yeah, it's not so much the question is it smaller, it's just why is the the fire spray considered a medium sized ship and it's really not that big. Uh oh, Miss Gimpy needs to talk to me, be right back.
Okay, I am back. So, so this is working out quite the way I hoped it would. I was kind of hoping to be able to do jobs for the Bounty Hunter Guild, but there's no bounties. I don't care about the ship access. They don't really Goodbye. like me. There's no other options here. Let's just look at that one. I do that for Goodbye. More. That's our assessment. Don't care about Goodbye. that. Goodbye. Goodbye. I don't get it. Goodbye. Maybe there aren't. Maybe there aren't any bounty hunting things to do. I assume because there's a bounty hunters guild, there'd be bounties to do. But I haven't seen any. I mean, there are bounty hunters flying around. They attack my ships from time to time. How come I don't get any bounties? You know, manager's office, security. Hello there. Hello. Oh, that's not what I want. Or is it? Hello. Now this is... Now this is hard. Usually there's like a little... There they are. Crafting bench. Damaged hyperdrive cores. I can sell those. I don't think I need those, do I? I would not. Remote detonators. No, this isn't really what I was hoping for it would be either. Raider Corvette. Yeah. 
have probes and stuff in space, don't I? Yeah, we're still exploring this area. Although we don't really need to now. I don't really care about this space. Usually talk with missions and stuff. So. Dock at the equipment dock and see how that goes. And off we go. Okay, so that's happening. It's going to be a little bit of a trip. Because we're down here. So it's one, two, three, four. Yeah, a few jumps. It'll be a little while. Mandalorian's trying to build platform defense platforms in Imperial space. That usually goes well for him. I don't mind because it's, you know, more scrap for me. Oh, that's right. Now I can invest in my little scrap factory. Because we're just not producing enough energy cells. I mean, we should be, but we're not. not. We're basically producing as, twice as many energy cells actually, I guess we actually need. But... We didn't have enough stock built up in it all. It got drained out pretty quick. So that means we need more solar panels. So we copy that sequence. Build another one there. And then do the same thing over here. Confirm. So we're going to need some energy cells. We're not really producing enough of our own. Preferably a non-imperial builder. Because if the imperial builder is going to get harassed by the rebel ships coming in and the Mandalorians. So a CSA builder would be ideal. I hope they shouldn't be at war with the Mandalorians in the Empire. Or sorry, New Republic. So there we go. And throw some money at this. Get that started. Sure. So CSA. They're currently enemies only with the huts and the hapes. Oh sorry, no no. Yeah, those are enemies. Hostiles though. Not New Republic and not the Mandalorians. Okay. Mandalorian Raiders are like pirates. They're not they're not the good Mandalorians. The pain in the ass Mandalorians. Little orders. Oh, lots of scrap weight. They can get going, thrown in there. It's all just waiting for a spot to open up. And there should be four open spots. Because only two of these scrap metals are currently being processed, or being used. So there should be a four open spots with all the scrap sitting around. Those guys. So these pieces. These are the scrap processors. We need more energy cells. Um, auto trading. You're not doing anything. So we're going to send you over to Bastion Factory. Transfer some wires. 
specifically energy cells, which we have a lot of here. Pick those up and then go back down here and drop them off at storage. And, and that should be... I don't know if that's going to be enough. Let's see. Energy cells. More than enough. It only needed 4,000. I'm going to have 9,000 delivered there. It's not a work. Module prefabs. That should be delivered by your own stuff, I think. So that shouldn't be a problem. We have some waiting anyway. So that's not a problem at all. So this should get built fairly soon. It's just a matter of uh, getting those pieces built. Oh, sorry, the builder has to get here first, which is going to be a little while because they're slow. I need to consider building, getting my own builder. I don't have to pay somebody else to use theirs. That's how that works. Builders aren't free. You either rent them or you buy your own. Buying your own is, what, 10 million or so, I think? Gonna start builder. Twelve million. Not enough resources on the station, so there's that issue. Jump okay, completed. Doing now. For Still can't see what they're producing or what they need. On that, but now it's 26. I think. Oh, here we go. You can see the orders of the ships belong to this faction. You're allowed to teleport. You're allowed to use a giant modification. I'm trying to see what what they need, what this station needs, and thought it was. Might have changed something there. I know we can scan them with our ship and see what they have that way. I think. Hmm. You are. Okay, we're set. Mm -hmm. AJ, welcome back. Happy Sunday. How's the war? Uh, I'm kind of avoiding the war at the moment. Or I should say I'm avoiding the war. I'm trying to avoid progressing. I don't have the biggest ships lying around yet. Completed. Coruscant.
No supremacy yet? No, not yet. Not yet. Scrap factory. He's not making as much money as I was hoping it was going to make. As a tug, let's see how well this... How well does scrapping work? It works pretty well. It's just right now it's not uh, making a lot of money for me at the moment. Oh, you try it manually? No, I don't do manual scrapping. I let the basically the the tugs that go out and they you know carry the carcasses back to the station. But I also have a uh, scrapper out there who is breaking down the larger ships into cubes. The, that the tugs go and pull back to the station. So that's what he's doing right now. So like this guy's all automatic. He's just you know, doing the thing. Yeah, I don't try to do I I've never tried manual stuff. I mean with the tugs, I'm guessing you just fly up to him and Activate the tractor beam? I don't know. I've never thought about trying it, honestly. And this guy, it wouldn't be any real. There's nothing really to do with this either, because it's all pretty much automatic. Because the drones just. I guess you target your thing and they go out and they start tearing it apart. Sort of fly it through a ring that catches the scrap. Oh, that part. They don't even do that, though. The scrappers don't actually fly through the ring. Jump completed. Vakar. See, what they do is they just... These are the, the lower portion, these six here. These are the where the scrap goes. And all they do is they just fly over it and drop the scrap into it. The scrapper creates the cubes. The scrapper only creates the cubes. It actually doesn't tow them or anything. It just makes them. It's the tugs that have to bring it back to the where it's supposed to be processed. Yeah, it basically it it the drones go out from the scrapper, they go to the to the to the carcass, and then they bring the parts back to the scrapper, and the scrapper turns the parts into a cube, and it spits out the cube, and the cube just sits there in space until a tug comes along to pull it back to the processor. Jump completed, Bill Rangy. And then here, the the tugs just fly uh, fly over. Uh, where the where the scrap is supposed to be dropped into, and that's it. Can you build scrap stations? That's what this is. This is my scrap station. So the answer is yes. So this is it here. So started down here. A little docking platform for the for the basic ships to get in there, the small guys. Jump completed, boring. And then we, from there, we just built our first set of uh, solar panels. Actually, I think we did. I think I might have built all four of them at once. And that, or sorry, sorry, built our storage first, our container storage to collect the the solar energy or the energy cube, energy stuff. So they go into storage. Then we build our solar panels to start doing that. And then we slowly build... Uh, so then we built some solid storage because uh, the scrap is considered solid. A solid material, so you need that for storage. And then we start building the recycler... No, sorry, not the recyclers. The processors. Because the processors turn the scrap into... Sorry, turn the raw scrap into scrap. Right, so you got the raw scrap. This is all the stuff that can come into the station. Those six at the top, 
check that's doing that. So we got the scrap metal there. Only four of the six are currently running. And the scrap metal gets moved over here. And then the production, the two other two at the other top, at the top that look different than the other ones, they turn the raw, the scrap metal into module prefabs or durasteel. And how do you control that? I don't no. know. No, completed. Order. They just do it. Whatever there's room for. Room for. They're rare. So should I get lots of traffic from other factions? Shouldn't it? I have enough trouble building up to getting energy cells from a station. I always build my own so my own energy. Every every station that I build that's going to require energy, I have them produce their own energy. So that way, I'm not dependent on anybody coming to sell it to me. It's just easier in the long run. Yeah, it's a bigger investment in getting it running, but it saves you money in the long run because you don't have to buy it. As long as you meet your energy requirements for what you're producing. Now the scrap is. The whole scrap, the scrap processing process is energy heavy. It actually eats up quite a bit of energy. So you need, you know, multiple solar panels in order to keep the station running. I currently have what? Eight panels and it's not enough to keep us running consistently, even though we have more than enough energy to do stuff. We're producing 500,000 energy units per hour. And if everything if everything's running, I think, or at least half a thing, I think Don't if half the things are running, it's only like a hundred thousand that we need. I think if three quarters are running, it's like two hundred thousand somewhere around there. It's a weird number how it works, but as you can see, nothing is running at the moment. I'm oh, sorry, the scrap metal is running, but these guys aren't running because they require more energy. The module prefabs require a lot of energy, and we just don't have any excess right now. And the energy cells only produce, you know, energy so fast. It's like, what, 30 seconds, I think, to produce a, like, a couple thousand, which again, isn't enough. So that's why you need multiple panels out there. What kind of profit? Nothing really at the moment. As you can see, nothing at the moment. For some reason, nobody's buying anything. I'm not sure why. Well, we don't, we can't do business with the New Republic because we're not friendly with them at the moment. But uh, the Mandalorians haven't bought anything that I'm aware of, mainly because we're in Empire space and they're kind of at war. So there's an issue. Our re we're only real customer in this space is the Empire. But it should be close enough. Now, we do have two freighters assigned to the station. We have a Class 6, which is a large. And he's out there doing something, I hope. He's doing auto trade, but I don't know where he's actually doing. He's way over here. Oh, he's up at our home system. Or sorry, this is this is our system up here. I don't know what he's doing here. He's set to auto trade, but he's got nothing to trade. He should be back down here. I think he's bringing parts back up to our station up there. Let's fly down there. Wait. This one. This one, I think. He is back. He brought energy down to us because of uh, our construction. I had him go up to our main station, which has an abundance of energy. Here. So, right now, the panels that we're building... We have enough uh, energy cells and module prefabs to get these things built. Now it's just a matter of time. we got 19 minutes before the next one is built. Or the first or the next batch of four. So I'll have a total of, what, 12, to 12 panels? Hopefully they keep this thing up and running. What's the class four, six look like? Uh, just a second. Class six looks like... that. And I think I bought this from the CSA. The Empire does not make these. And it, it's it's my it's my probably favorite large freighter. Simply because it's uh it's decently fast, it's got a decent cargo, and it's got decent guns to protect itself. 
the acclimator is bigger, but it's and more and better defended with because has more gun implant or gun hard parts, gun hard points. But it's so freaking hey, slow. Yeah. It is time to take a break. So slow. Yeah, it's a hammerhead design. This brake supports the purchase of Rocket's treats. If you would like to help Rocket feel like a puppy again, please visit gimpyneecom slash support or you can watch the ads during the break or you can type exclamation point treats in chat. Thank you. If you don't remember Your seeing these. next break is in one hour. These are basically the same design, as, or same chassis as a hammerhead type ships, as you can tell by the design. Uh, Requesting permission to dock. It's just the it's just Docking the freighter version instead of a warship, I think. I'm not sure how big the hammerheads are. CR90 midsection. It's a good, it, it, you know, in whole, it's a it's a decent looking ship, and they're decent. They're not super expensive either. Except I, I, like I said, I like them because they're they're fairly maneuverable as far as moving from point A to point B, not at hyper speeds. Um, and again, they've got enough guns to protect themselves from troublemakers, except for larger ships, which you know a dreadnought pirate give definitely make it run away, but the, the smaller harassers are not a problem for these things. Unlike what the Gazantes. Gazantes, I like the Gazantes too, as far as, because they're the medium-sized ship. And I like them as a starter, uh, you know, freighter. But once we're, you know, it's more established that Type 6s are, are my preferred freighter. But anyway, I should, I need, should take my break. I need a little bit more water. <laughs> So yeah, that's yeah, actually that's not a bad looking ship. Gets the job done. Uh oh, game just crashed on me. Well, that's not good. <laughs> that's not good at all. Uh okay. Okay, Jay. Well, have fun playing something, and I gotta restart the game. While I'm on break. So <laughs> wasn't expecting that. Anyway. I'm gonna get up, take a break. Uh, need to get up, stretch your legs, get some water, talk to Mrs. Gimpy. I'll be back in a few minutes, and uh, thank you all very much for watching. Be back shortly. Enjoy the dog video. Of course, you did it. Rebel saboteur is more likely. It's pesky rebel scum. And sorry. Be back shortly, and thank you, uh, Rikovic, for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Be back shortly. Enjoy the dog and kid video.